Stanford University. When you're talking about rare artifacts or artifacts that are fragile or were difficult to obtain, the 3D model doesn't replace the original, but gives you a digital surrogate to make analysis, evaluation, instruction on those objects easier, both in the classroom and at home. The method that we use is called photogrammetry. It's a computational photographic method by which you take uh, circuits of images of an object in the round. In total, we'll capture 288 photographs at a minimum. And after we take these photographs, we load them into the computer and the software assembles them into a 3D model. We worked with Professor Sitaw to digitize a set of animal bones for his intro to zoo archaeology class. Effectively, it's an introduction to animal skeletal anatomy. We use a range of species from bison and zebra to foxes, many species of bird, chicken, duck. So the students themselves are able to take a relatively large repository of 3D images on an iPad, on a phone. They can look at these bones, look at the skulls, manipulate them, add the annotations so that they are more comfortable when they're in the classroom itself. This works not as a replacement for lab time, but as a complement to lab time. Digitization is one way that we can not just preserve our heritage and our history, but also make these really important objects or works of art available to our students and faculty and researchers and the world at large. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.